I found the circuit online. It's from techlib.com. And what it is is a 2N3866. You got a radio frequency choke. You have two more coils, a 102 capacitor, 100 ohm resistor, 65 picos on the capacitor on the input. There's an FD700 diode right there, 33 ohms, and a 1UF electrolytic. It works excellent. This is a 0 to 30 uh, trimmer capacitor. And all I did was just take this 75 ohm. It's usually supposed to be a 50, but it works fine with this. Uh, seven, uh, 75 ohm coax connector. Connected it right here. I made this antenna right here. It's a dipole antenna. You can make these online if you use a dipole calculator. This is a folded dipole. And I made it for 109, 109 megahertz. And it has a ballon which goes all the way through a loop and it goes all the way back up. I don't know too much about these balance and stuff, but it's supposed to balance out the 50 ohm versus the 75. So I just went ahead and did that. This right here was a transmitter I made many years ago. It must be like 15 years ago I made this. And it's only the size of a quarter. I actually bought the board and I had the components and it's really really good I have no schematic for it but the range is incredible on it and it has just three transistors it had a microphone and what I did is I eliminated the microphone and I added an audio input so I could plug this into a little tiny music player iPod or anything else and it'll transmit the uh, the music granted it's only going to be in it won't be stereo, but it still sounds great. It goes through this transmitter, and it goes into the amplifier circuit, and out through the antenna. For this amplifier to put out a full 1 watt, you need a good 150 to 200 on this side coming in. And this is actually a little less than that. It was like 120 or something like that. So this isn't pushing out as strong as it should, but I am getting probably like a half a watt. Now if I turn up the voltage to like 15 versus I'm running everything on 12, I'll get a lot more output. Now when you want to put this together, you want to make sure the coils are very close to the board like that. I'm not an RF expert, but when you put these together, you want all your leads as short as possible and as close to the board as possible. And it's a good idea to use this copper board. And what you do is you take a Dremel, you lay out each component on the board and you take a Dremel and you cut out each area with a cutoff wheel to make little pads that are separate from the ground plate. So like I cut a pad there, I cut a pad there. You cut all these pads and this way the circuit can all go together. That's how I did that. See the back of it. See the back? You can see right through the light. That's where I cut away the copper to make the pads. I just tried this out last night with this little tiny transmitter with this. The whole circuit draws like 100 milliamps, the two together. This one draws like 28, and this draws like another 70, 75. And I was getting like well, like over a mile with no problem with this little setup right here. And crystal clear audio. If you have a transmitter and you want to take away the microphone, it's very easy. You take the resistor that goes from the positive rail, which is like a 27K or a 47, and it usually feeds into the positive side of the mic, you eliminate that resistor and you take out the mic and all you do is you add like a 47k resistor going into the capacitor that feeds into the base of the transistor and then you connect that to your audio player. So you have the plus right here the tip goes into a 47k resistor and then into this green capacitor and then into the base of the transistor and now I can send audio from a from music versus a microphone so that's how you could do that I'll put the link in the video description box and there's a chart showing what the coils should be for a specific frequency that you want now I'm using 109 so this is made for 109 megahertz 
You can make it for 88, you can make it for 100, you can make it for 115, you can make it for a wide range of frequencies, but you have to make sure you choose the proper coils.